A lot of these medications that we utilize for blood pressure work really well, um, but one of the things you have to be really careful about is side effects. So today we're gonna to be talking about Losartan. So this is an aldosone receptor blocker used for high blood pressure. It can be used for a lot of different things with blood pressure, such as coronary disease, such as um, previous heart attacks. If someone has heart failure, it's one of the study medications that can potentially improve that heart failure. It can be used for people who have an, uh, an aneurysm. It can, one of the receptors that it works with on the, um, uh, on the aorta can help um, prevent the aneurysm from getting worse. So it's good for blood pressure. Uh, one of the reasons that I like it is that it's just once a day. But these medications also have associated short um, uh, side effects uh, with it. The biggest one that I see with um, low starting is issues with uh, potassium. It can cause high potassium. So a lot of times when someone is being started on this medication, you want to check potassium levels at least within a week to make sure that the levels are not increasing exponentially. Uh, not, another thing that can cause is worsening renal dysfunction if you already have underlying kidney disease, especially closer to end stage kidney disease. It actually has some protective um, quant um, qualities with it in kidney disease in the early stages, especially if people have underlying diabetes. So most of my diabetics are on ACE inhibitor or aldosterone receptor blocker, but we're watching the kidneys. If they continue to rise, we wanna make sure that, number one, they have a nephrologist so that they can watch that to make sure that we don't need to either decrease the dose or completely take them off of it. So, so um, um, potassium, kidney disease. Third one is a cough. A lot of times I switch my patients from ACE inhibitors to aldosterone receptor blockers because of, cough, because of a cough, but a small subset of those people will also still have a cough with uh, low certain. Once again, they work well. The biggest thing that I recommend is, you know, discussing this with your, whoever's prescribing it to make sure that it's the right medication for you, but also to make sure that it's being utilized correctly. If you have high blood pressure, especially if it's in the 130s, you can typically treat that with just lifestyle changes with weight loss, nutrition selection, washing your salt, and, um, uh, and exercising. But if you're in the 140s, 150s, then likely you will need something to help bring that down. My name is Dr. Isak, and I hope you find any benefit with this.